Hey guys, this is Caroline coming to you again. I've had a lot of questions on my channel about controlling your TV, what you can do with either the Alexa or the Google Home. Today I'm going to focus on Google Home and Chromecast. And I'm going to hook this up with my TV. You can also do this on a computer monitor and that way you can get Chromecast content. Uh, you can control it with your Google Home into your TV. We're going to do a full setup start to finish right now. And here is the Chromecast box and we're going to just slide out the other box and here's the opening. So here's the Chromecast. Right here you pull it up and you've got a little getting started guide and you've got a power cable as well and I think that's about it for what's in the box. So we've done the unboxing, now we're going to hook this up to our TV. Yes, I just want to point out something here real quick. This is the Chromecast and it's plugged into my HDMI cable right here. It does require power. It does come with a power cord right here. So you can use the USB if your TV has a nice little USB plug right here and then just plug it into the USB or you can use the power adapter that came with it and then plug this into an, an outlet here. For the purposes of setting up my Chromecast today, I'm going to use a screen record on my phone and I'm using this monitor just because it's a little bit easier to see on the monitor versus my TV. And uh, I've shown you the hookup on my TV. Uh, so let's get started with this. I, I'm, so what it tells me to do is go to chromecast.com forward slash setup and I'm going to start the screen record on my phone here and you can see it says Google, Google Chromecast. Let's get set up. Tap the button below to download the Google Home app. All right, I think I already have the Google Home app. Uh, sure enough, I already have the Google Home app. I'm going to hit open. And here it is. We have the Google Home. It says, oh, wow, this is, this is going to be really easy. It says one device found. Chromecast is ready for setup. And I'm going to hit the setup button. And it says, would I like to set up a Chromecast? Oh, yes, I would. That's this video. Hit next. And, uh, and you can see my Chromecast here is responding. And as connected. So, do I see the code on my TV? Yes, I do. So the code corresponds to what I see on my computer screen. I'm going to say yes. Where is this device? I'm going to say Office, Next. And then I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi network. And it's now connecting. Oh, this is so exciting here. And we're online. And I'm linking to my Chromecast. And I'm going to hit Continue. And it says add my video services. And it says, do I want to add Netflix? Sure, I want to add Netflix. I'll link my Netflix account. And then you sign into Netflix. Oh, and here we go. I have the correct password for my Netflix account. Click next. Almost done. Review my devices, Office TV, and my Wi Fi. Hit continue. I'm now updating my Chromecast. Hang tight. This may, this may take three or four minutes. So I'll be right back. And here we go. And my Office TV is now ready. I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to choose a sample clip to learn how to cast. All right, so I've got choices. I'm going to choose YouTube. And I'm going to tap the cast button and select Office TV. So that's in the top right hand corner. Select Office TV. I just finished the tutorial that was included with the setup of my Google Chromecast. And now let's set it up with Google Home. Oh, wait a second. It's already set up. It's in the same Google Home app and I've already set up my Google Home. So let's, let's give it a shot right now. I'm going to say, hey Google, play Netflix House of Cards. Sure, House of Cards from Netflix. 
playing on Office TV. And sure enough, it's gonna pick up where I left off on the last episode I watched of House of Cards. And here it goes. Now let's say, hey Google, play YouTube. All right, playing recommended YouTube videos on Office TV. And here we go. So here's another video on YouTube. We have hooked up our TV to the Chromecast, Google Chromecast, and now I've got my Google Home out. Now, there was a little problem with doing Chromecast with my monitor, as my monitor didn't have any speakers. It's not a TV. So now I've hooked it up to my TV, and we're going to test this out. And this is what I think is the coolest part of the Chromecast with Google Home. I'm going to say, OK, Google, turn on Netflix. Sure, playing Netflix from YouTube on Office TV. And it's going to default to my TV. It's going to turn on my TV. Just like that. And here's Netflix. All right, so now I'm going to say, OK, Google, show Nova Spirit on YouTube. All right, playing Nova Spirit from YouTube on Office TV. And it changes right to the Nova Spirit channel uh, on Chromecast. So, and then, if you want to get to this really cool screensaver, say, OK, Google, stop. And it starts cycling through these pictures. This is just out of the box functionality. These are not my pictures at all. And, and it's really kind of a cool, just a little ambionic little thing that goes on. So I love it. Um, there are a couple caveats in all of this. So it only turns on your TV if you have it plugged in, your Chromecast plugged in, in the power outlet in a power strip behind your TV, not if you have it plugged into a USB port on your TV. The other thing is it doesn't change the input. It just turns on your TV to whatever input it was on to begin with. So if it was, uh, it was if you have three HDMI or four HDMI inputs, it's going to go to the last one, which might be your satellite receiver or something. So it only worked because I had it set up for the HDMI input of my Chromecast uh, before I started this video. And the last thing is, the Chromecast can turn on your TV, but it can't turn off your TV. So now, I'm going to say, hey, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.